So we're here today to undertake the tree blessing ceremony, which is part of the topping out agenda. As we uh, as we get up to the roof on the DC4 building, which is building four of a development that we've been looking at with the Scarborough Group. The building's a commercial use office, uh, and it's part of the overall redevelopment and the levelling up agenda for the Scarborough Group with Sheffield who are working across a number of projects. Uh, this building in particular is going to attract uh, a blue chip client for its end user so it's great to see the investment that's happening in Sheffield. The digital campus uh, was formed 15 years ago as part of a vision for the redevelopment of a, a derelict site in Sheffield right next to the bus station and opposite the railway line uh, effectively to bring e-commerce and digital industries to the city of Sheffield which is a flourishing industry uh, back in those heady days uh, in the early uh, noughties so uh, this marks the final phase of our 15 years of development in Sheffield where we've already developed three significant buildings which is a home to uh, nearly um, uh, 250 um, uh, employees in each of the individual buildings and this will mark the final development of that 15 years in the making for us here at Sheffield. We first designed the master plan for the second phase digital campus back in 2013 um, with a the Cero next door being built in 2017, got PC. Um, well, it didn't really stack up building four. The complex floor plate that we had was a bit too small and it wasn't as desirable to a tenant. We're looking at people that are expecting a lot more, a lot more flexible spaces, a lot more cycle provision, uh, shower facilities, um, EV parking. And we've also looked to um, provide touch-free access throughout the building. So we're going to do sensor taps, sensor flushes on toilet etc so the user experience in the post covid world is much more friendly we've also been pushed quite hard by the planners to try and make a more um, of a statement building here rather than following the same architectural intent as the other three buildings so we've introduced an undulating facade as, as you wrap down pond hill here so the coordination of the steelwork and the concrete and the cladding has been a bit of a, a headache but we've got there hopefully and it'll all fit together nicely when um, it's constructed